My name is Austin Bell and I am a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota. This is a hands-on activity demonstration of how to read and interpret SEM images. I developed this activity along with Dr. Ramachandran at the University of Minnesota and with the help of students at Dakota County Technical College. For this activity, you will need SEM images printed out for each group of students, metric rulers, and computers with Microsoft Excel. To measure these particle size distributions, we must first collect samples. Samples are collected using air samples with filters and battery-operated pumps. During sampling, air is pulled through the filter and particles that are in the air are captured on the filter. The filter may then be viewed using a scanning electron microscope, otherwise known as an SEM. An SEM is a high-resolution microscope that is used to identify and measure nanoparticles. Because the nanoparticles are very small in size relative to the filter, we cannot observe the filter in its entirety. Instead, we look at smaller sections of the filter called fields of view. Particles in these fields of view are counted and categorized by size. These findings are then extrapolated to the entire filter. For this activity, split the class into pairs or small groups, each one with an SEM field of view similar to the image shown here. The particles are white and gray spheres and they are collected on a polycarbonate filter membrane perforated by small holes that appear black on the image. There should be approximately 20 particles on each image. Measure the scale bar with a ruler and record the value. For our example, the scale bar is measured at about 5.5 centimeters. Identify all particles in the field of view image and measure their corresponding diameters with the ruler. For the particle shown here, the diameter is about 5 centimeters. Divide the length of the particle by the length of the scale bar in order to obtain a ratio. Multiply this ratio by 200 nanometers in order to determine the diameter of the particle in nanometers. In our example, 5 divided by 5.5 equals 0.9. When multiplied by 200, this equates to a particle diameter of about 180 nanometers. Categorize each particle by its diameter into one of the following diameter ranges. Our first particle would be in the last diameter range for particles over 100 nanometers. Each group should categorize the rest of the particles for their particular field of view image. The class should then come together and add the distributions from all of the field of view images to the Excel sheet provided with this module. Once this is complete, you can click on the second tab on the bottom labeled Histogram Output. There you can see the first graph, which is a histogram of count fraction per micrometer versus particle size. This graph displays the distribution of particle diameters and counts visually. Here you can see that there is a left skew, meaning that there were a lot of small particles on the filter and fewer particles as the diameter increased. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, otherwise known as METFAST, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institutes of Health.